Top five benefits to the CW for the Pac-12. It came out over the weekend that maybe the CW and Nexstar are in this, and it looks likely that they are bidding to add the Pac-12 um, to their their network, which would give the Pac-12 an option, albeit an unconventional one and one that most people don't think of, but uh, one that might be the best way forward for them. Um, so number five, the two entities can help each other. One, I do think that Nexstar is going to reinvent this network completely, and it's not going to be called the CW anymore. I don't think that name did anything for anybody. Um, and look, we're on the CW. This show is going to have a, a one-hour thing. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that nationally, like, it is where it is for a reason, right? And so it had its run. It needs to adjust. I think streaming, because, especially based on the kind of shows that they show, streaming kind of ate them alive like that would they were a victim of that so now how do you revit them yourself you want to be nbc cbs all that you have to mirror what they do so what do you do you put live sports on uh live golf uh pac-12 would all be that so if you're going to reinvent yourself into being a network that's on that's available then you have to do the things like they do and maybe uh, you can't be the outside the box network anymore and look they're they're sold to a new company and so that that's going to help them. I, like I said, I think the name will change. I think a lot of things will change about the CW, hopefully for the better, for the, the sake of the CW and the people that work there and next are in, in, in the Pac-12. And for the Pac-12, look, it's not ideal, but you're now on linear television and you might have your fans going and searching and then you'll have it, you know, a, I, a better reach than you I got to say something about it. We hear about whether or not fans will find you. If you're a fan, you'll find them. You'll find them. Yeah. Now, we'll enough of them but if it's a fan of a certain school an alum or just a fan whether it's oregon state whether it's utah whoever it might be whatever channel it's on and if it's a cw that's great wherever it is you will find them i remember watching nebraska football and they were involved in a lot of the games that were highlighted throughout for the longest of times but there were times when they were on that pay-per-view even against if it was some team they're going to beat 50 to nothing I found them. Yeah. I would find them. Yeah. You know, I got grounded for a week one time. You because told me this me story. And my parents got mad because I ordered A&M versus, like, Southwest Texas. Yep. <laughs> you know, the pay-per-view game in week week for one. For $49.99. $49.99. They didn't know for a oh, month. Oh, yeah, they did. For when a they month, got the bill. The bill they knew. And they're yeah. like, yeah, well, I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. Number four. You are the only one on it right now. So, if you're the Pac-12, I know that. You can't really draft off the other ones, but you're, it's the only you. So you have kind of a, a unique spot where you can say, look, this is us. This is our network. This is, this is the Pac-12. This is where you can find the Pac-12. You are it. You're not going to have to worry about like, oh, your game's going to get bumped to a different time because, you know, there's a better game for their cop. Like that is the, I would say the one drawback or maybe like something that's a little bit that bums people out is all of a sudden you can have, you know, Oklahoma versus Kansas State at 11 o'clock kick because you're slotted to Fox that day and you're the same time as Michigan or you're the same day as Michigan Penn State. Well, yep. you know, Michigan Penn State's going to get the slot that you wanted and you're going to get that one because you just happen to be slightly below on the on the pecking order. You and know, Yeah, no, you're right. You know how we talk about ESPN Plus and initially I was like, I'm not going to. You know, they broadcast the Masters. Yeah. You could, you, if you wanted to watch them and stream them, guess where you had to go? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. So if you're, the, if you're the Pac-12 and the CW now and you're the teams in the Pac-12 knowing what it's going to be every week and which games are going to be on there, you don't have to worry about like, oh, man, here we have this great game that – and especially if it's one that's – you know, you're in week nine and it's not one that people would have thought would have been the best game – and it still winds up at 11 o'clock in the morning, yep. you know, you're going to be able to say, like, look, our best game is going to be at 7 o'clock at night, you know, East East Coast time, so or whatever it is. So you have those things. If you promote it well, yes. which means you need the exposure mm -hmm. to be able to do that, then, again, it will be a good thing. But, That's the question. Number three, and this is kind of obvious, it gets you on linear TV. Since your options are drying up and you want that, this puts you on there. This absolutely puts you on there. Go to go to Wikipedia, Google CW channel, and again, we are on the CW at 1030 every weeknight. Go to Wikipedia and Google CW markets, and there's a lot more than you might think. Now, are they in every single market? No, but with the I mentioned the Pac-12 markets in every major city yeah. that is a state with the Pac-12. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Number two, 
you can have almost total network con control on the network side, right? If you're the CW and the Pac-12, the Pac the, the CW is probably going to see a lot of like, hey, tell us what you want. Like, yeah. let's do this as opposed to what goes on. I know it's, it's probably a little bit more, you know, friendly than, than I would be portraying here, but there are some things you have to navigate on the ESPN and Fox side and CBS and NBC for everybody else. Look, if you're the Big Ten and NBC, there are probably going to be some days in Notre Dame that you and Notre Dame and NBC are going to have like, really, this is what we're doing here? Yeah. Like we have like, we want this and we want that. Here, the Pac-12, you're not going to have any of that. Maybe a little bit of infighting on, well, Wazoo and Washington State should be on at this time and Oregon and Oregon State should be on at this time. But that's pretty minor compared to, you know, right. the, the Notre Dame versus USC game that you're going to have to navigate and all that. So I think that's, that's a benefit, maybe minor, but at least early on, especially where you're trying to figure out who you are as the Pac-12 without the, the LA schools, I think this is a good thing. And number one, it's in 100% of U.S. markets or at least the markets that matter. I, I, I wrote this the wrong way, but it's in 100% of the ones that matter. And that way you don't have to sell anybody on it. Look, it's in LA, it's in Portland, it's in it's in Seattle, it's in Phoenix, Phoenix and San Francisco and Tucson and all of that. It's everywhere you need it to be. And it's in way more. It's also in Miami. It's in Waco for crying out loud. It's in Atlanta. It's everywhere you want to be. So you don't have to worry about like if you had maybe made the deal with Ion who's owned by Scripps that yeah, well, some providers have it, some don't. Nobody's really ever heard of it. People have heard of the CW. They just may not know potentially where it is because, again, the programming on it for so very long has not been geared towards college football fans. Yep. It's been geared towards, you know, kids in high school and college for the most part. I mean, when, when your biggest show ever is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Smokey, they did not consult you Never on it. Never watched that <laughs> with all due <laughs> respect. No, but I, I mean, they never called would, you and said, gotta, would you watch it? They got to figure out a way, though, with what their other programming is, how they can promote their college football to an audience. Is it their audience? Mm -hmm. And that's where perhaps some of the streaming comes into play. And there was even that thought about, uh, what was it, the Thursday night NFL game? There's a way to maybe cross-promote with the Pac-12 might mm -hmm. have if that actually works out that way. Yeah, so I think I think when you're in enough markets and you have this, I, I, it's a good thing overall for the Pac-12 if they do this based on it now or this is just the sign that it's all coming down because their presidents aren't going to want to do it. But I, I actually think there are way worse ideas, and this is a pretty darn good one given their circumstances. I agree. That's it. That was easy. The CW speaking.